Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a product that I bought because of the interesting marketing, not because of the interesting product. And I want to get that clear right from the get-go. I'm already feeling rather foolish for buying this product in the first place. It is what it is, we're gonna review it anyway. This is the brand new product from Becca. This is the Becca Zero Pigment Virtual Foundation. <laughs> Zero pigment foundation. Really? Anyway, that's what it is. That's what it says it is. Becca say the future of foundation has arrived and it's invisible. I mean, how stupid do they think we are? I mean, I obviously am because I've bought it. Why have I bought this? Duh! This is a primer. This is a primer. This has not got any pigments in it. It can't be a foundation. What are they talking about? Why have I bought this? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, if you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma and I have no idea what I'm doing. But if you'd like to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be great. Come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack. We are a really friendly bunch. Let's do a little bit of bump on this and we'll see if miraculously it works. Okay, so this is the Becca Zero Pigment Virtual Foundation. Bit of a mouthful. £29 in the UK, you get 30 mils worth of product. And as this contains zero pigment, there are no shades to choose from. One product suits all skin tones. Instead of offering pigment to cover over imperfections, this offers clear light blur technology to diffuse the light around the face, therefore blurring imperfections rather than covering them over. This also smooths the appearance of skin. And I don't know about you, but this sounds very, very much like a primer at this point. This contains no silicon whatsoever. It's full of glycerin and hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin and instantly cools the skin on first contact. This also will control oil production. Again, sounds a little bit like a primer. This offers perfect skin with a transparent matte finish. This also says you can wear it on its own or you can put foundation over the top of it. This is a primer. Honestly, am I the biggest idiot on the planet? Let's get some of this on. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see the imperfections on this side of my face so that we can see whether any of those imperfections are actually covered over once I've actually got the product on my skin. So you can see here, we've got a little bit of acne scarring around here, a bit of post acne dark marks. We've also got a few blemishes around here that are going. So um, on my forehead, we've got a little bit of pigmentation up here that is fading slowly. And we've got some broken capillaries around my nose. So uh, I'm only going to apply this to half of my face so that we can actually see the difference, whether there is one. I'm sure there will be some sort of difference. I mean, when you apply any sort of mattifying primer to the skin, it instantaneously blurs those imperfections because that's what mattifying something does. It smooths everything, it blurs everything, it gives that soft focus effect like you've airbrushed the skin. So, so many primers actually do that. So you open the pot and it has a little spatula in here and it has a pulley lid that you can take off and then the product looks very silicony, but obviously this doesn't have any silicon in here, but it does look like the Smashbox primer. Not gonna lie. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit to start off with. And I'm not quite sure how to apply this. It, it doesn't really say, it just says blend a thin layer over the skin, whether that means with a brush or just with your fingers. I've no idea. So I'm going to start on my cheek. I'm going to just put little dots on there. This is very, very cooling. Uh, it feels quite hydrating and cooling on the skin immediately. So it does have that effect. It 
So instead of being quite thick like that silicon feel that it had right at the very beginning, and obviously this doesn't have any silicones in it at all, but it does have that sort of silicony feel when it's in the gel form. It goes very gel-like when it hits the skin and that's actually quite pleasant. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got plenty of this around the areas that we saw, so my broken capillaries, on my cheeks where I have my poster acne marks, where I've got my pigmentation. Let me put a little bit on my chin because I've got a bit of redness on my chin. Okay, so this was perfectly pleasant to apply. Uh, it felt seriously cooling on the skin at first application, which was very, very nice. Really easy to blend out. It didn't ball up. It didn't collect in any of my dry areas, which I really, really liked. It feels like I have some skincare on my skin, which is also a very pleasant feeling. So I really like that about this product. But I would usually apply my skincare before I go in with a primer or with a foundation, which this says it is. So having skincare is in this product really is immaterial to me. It's of no use, but it does feel very, very pleasant on the skin. So that's definitely a positive. So let's look at the skin and see whether it has blurred any of my imperfections out. Now, if you can see my skin, I do feel like this side looks a little bit more even than this side that looks a little bit more speckled you do have to look very closely and that's where the problem is here. So I do think that it's done something, but it's not done enough. So my imperfections are still definitely there. You can still see my post acne marks. You can still see any redness, any blemishes. It's not been blurred out at all, but I do feel like this side of my face is slightly more even than this side of my face. I don't know whether you can see that on camera. I don't feel like this has mattified the skin. If it had mattified the skin, it might have blurred things a little bit better. I've got to say, I've had better results out of primers that I've used in the past. And this isn't marketing itself as a primer, but other primers that I have used, I've had better results with. So that may be something to consider. I'm really trying not to be mean about this product, but I am a little bit cross with the marketing because there is no way that this is a foundation. It's got no pigments in it, so it can't be a foundation anyway. And I don't know about you, but I apply a foundation to make sure that my skin tone is completely even. I am not one of those people that goes straight for a full coverage foundation, quite the opposite. I really like a sheer coverage foundation. I just want something that's going to make my skin look like a better version of itself. And I don't feel like this product does that at all. I, I just don't think it has any worth in my routine and um, I don't think I'll be using it again. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm quite cross that it's been marketed the way that it has because if this had been marketed as a primer and I feel like it's quite a poor primer, I wouldn't have bought it in the first place and I've wasted 29 pounds. So I'm gonna leave this review here. I think you all know what my opinions are. If you wanna try this, or if you've already tried this, let me know how you get on with it in the comment section below. I'm really interested to hear your experiences with this. I do have the uh, Becca Zero No Pigment Glass Highlighter for the face and the lips to try. I'm not gonna try this today. I'm gonna try this in a different review because I'm losing the will to live. So uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section below. Maybe I've been a little harsh, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more for 29 pounds. Let me know what you think. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.